Hello people, this is Sonali, the Melodramatic Bookworm. If you've been here before, welcome back. And if you're new to my channel, welcome to the Melodramatic Bookworm family. I'm here today with a video that I wanted to do for uh, International Women's Month in March, in which I would share with you my favorite female characters of all time, women power, girl power, and all of that. But that didn't happen because uh, for a lot of reasons, which I won't get into again. So I thought, why not go ahead and do it anyway? Because we don't need to wait for March to come, for it to be International Women's Day to celebrate ourselves and to celebrate all the female characters in literature that we know and love. So in today's video, I'll be sharing with you 10 of my favorite female characters of all time. I say 10, but there are actually 15 because I've grouped uh, some of them because they are from the same books or the same series. Most of the characters in this video have been written by women. In experience, I've seen female characters written by men who are just caricatures, who are just there to serve the purpose of the man in question. They are just overly sexualized irrespective of who they are, what they do and anything else. And to see these characters to have been written in a way that's just so empowering. They are their own characters, they are their own people. So without any further ado, let's dive right into this video and let me share with you my favorite female characters of all time. First up is someone from a series that I could not shut up about a couple of years ago and I think I still don't shut up about it but it, the intensity has reduced a bit. The series is An Ember in the Ashes and it's not Liar. I absolutely love Helena Akila. I'll tell you why. She trusts her own intuition. She trusts her own self. When she believes that something is right, she does things for that particular thing. But when she realizes that it is wrong or when she realizes that she is doing the wrong thing probably she is serving the wrong thing then she does not wait she corrects herself immediately and that is something that i admire so much in in her and she's such a um, such an amazing character written right from start to the finish there's no fumbling whatsoever she knows what she wants she knows what her heart is she knows uh, what uh, she has to do Laia and elias their uh, journey is more on a higher plane like a uh, sort of uh, destiny and fate and this and that and whatnot but helena akila's story is rooted in reality as much as it can be and it just feels so much more relatable so much more a role model of sorts on how a person can be and that's why she's at the top of this list next is chloe brown from get a life chloe brown which is the first in the brown sisters trilogy all of those books are good but my favorite of the three is get a life chloe brown and my favorite character from among all those characters in those books is chloe brown one of the biggest reasons why i love her is because she is so relatable to me personally she also suffers from uh, chronic pain and uh, to see my experiences there on page there on paper and again that is just one thing that i like about chloe brown there's so much more she is smart she is sassy she is uh, intelligent she uh, knows when to put her foot down she knows when to let go in a sense and she knows how to open up in order to take in more experiences reading about her and reading about her life it was just such a calming experience as well as opened up something inside of me because i saw a character who is going through similar things as me next is emma morley from one day and this is a book that i was really angry at because of how it ended but i admire it so 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 much because of emma morley because of how amazing emma is she is a woman who puts herself out there on the line uh, but she knows when to, when to stand her ground she knows when to move away she knows when to let go of things and she knows how to be strong enough to be so assured in oneself that when something that she wants comes comes up in front of her she knows when to extend her arms and take it into her fold i mean it was a few weeks after i finished reading the book that i slowly started to realize the kind of woman that 
Emma was and it just elevated the book the story in my eyes it was it was a sight to behold next is Evelyn Hugo from the seven husbands of Evelyn Hugo Evelyn is a star in her own right as I've mentioned in my vlog that I did a couple of years ago if you'd like to go check that out link here as well as in the description box below but Evelyn is someone who you are in awe in the presence of as I read the book I could feel the brute star, star power coming at me and even though I was reading about it but star power is not the thing that makes Evelyn Evelyn it is her own willpower it is her willingness to do the thing that it takes to reach the top she knows how to uh, read society she knows how to read its moods she knows how to read its prejudices and to work around them in order to build a life for herself she will not take things lying down she will fight for her place she will fight for what she wants and she will do whatever it takes this whole book is such an experience because from right from the start to the very finish there is just so much of Evelyn for you to see I was just left in awe throughout that ending it sort of <laughs> wrecked me but the book as a whole is brilliant I think I've turned this into a bit of a book recommendation of sorts a fictional character that influences the reader like me a reader like me to talk in awe about her story as well while they talk about her. Next are Fang Runen and Venka from the Poppy War trilogy. There's a reason why I've clubbed these two together and that's because they are, they, it feels like they are polar opposites. Fang Runen is a girl from a, a distant district who has come to the academy to make her name and all of that. She wanted to escape there and she's now here. Rin is the sort of character who makes mistakes. As I went through the whole trilogy, I saw her, I watched her make mistakes. I watched her learn from them. I watched her grow. And the, there is this sort of aura about her that even if she makes mistakes, she is going to uh, do the right thing in the end. She is going to work towards that goal. She is going to work for herself and for the country as a whole. She does what she believes is right. Venka on the other hand, the daughter of a lord, she has this air about her, she, a powerful air about her, a pride that she carries, that she is from one of the noblest families in the country. And uh, she stands her ground. She does what she thinks is right. She does not mince her words. She is uh, straight up honest. She uh, fights beautifully she fights savagely and there is no doubt that she uh, remains one of the best warriors in that world uh, when these two are on the same platform with polar opposite characters how they take in criticism how they absorb the uh, things that people are telling them the biggest thing that they have in common is that they are both strong women next i don't know why i put this set so far down but this next set is a set of four women from one of my favorite duologies of all time and that is the Six of Crows duology by Lee Bardugo. I did full reading vlogs for both Six of Crows and Crooked Kingdom. If you'd like to go check those out, links will be in the description box below. I'll leave one of them over here as well. So the characters from the Six of Crows uh, duology, or rather I should say the Grishaverse because a couple of these make appearances. They are more prominent in the Shadow and Bone trilogy. Inej Gaffa and Nina Zenik from the Six of Crows duology and Jenya Safin and Zo Zoya Nazielenski from Sharon Bone right up to the last. Inej Gaffa, she is deadly. She is, she is a wizard with knives. She knows how to fight. She saves the day on more than one occasion. And she is one of the most empathetic characters in that universe. And obviously her relationship with the other crows. And then Nina Zenik. Nina Zenik is a goddess. She uh, is a heart render. She has a quick mouth. She is witty. She is smart. She is funny. And she is gorgeous. And I love her interaction with the crows, but not just that. I also love how she came into the group and how she uh, sort of started assimilating into it. It was a delight to see and she loves waffles. And then Jenya Safin, one of the 
strongest women of the Grishavas. She did what she had to do and then she turned into one of the fiercest allies, fiercest friends ever. And her bond with Alina is one of the best I've ever seen. And then last but not the least in this set is Zoya Nazielinski. And she is, oh, fire. She is fire. And she doesn't take crap from anyone. She gives it right back. She is powerful. She knows her power and she is supremely confident in that power. I love the trajectory that her character takes right from Shadow and Bone to maybe just King of Scars. I mean, she, throughout she learns a lot. She learns a lot about friendship. She learns a lot about uh, who she is as a person but she never lets go of her strength she never lets go of her pride in who she is for one moment at all and she will not allow anybody to bring her down she is a queen next is jo march from little women uh, little women is one of my favorite books of all time it is so warm it is so nice to read of course there are some sad moments as well it is a, a beautiful book about four sisters about friendships about uh, learning more about life about growing up about girls becoming women and jo is at the head of it all she is such a revolutionary woman for that time she knows what she wants to do she doesn't want to go about the drill she is the strongest smart sister if you ask me and to see her take care of her sisters to see her doing what she wants to do to put a foot in front of the other and move towards her dreams towards her goals it was a something else altogether it was a delight to read and i also love greta gavig's adaptation uh, in which Sasha Ronan did such a brilliant job in playing Jo. And I loved her uh, monologue about women and how the society treats women uh, in the book as well as in the movie. Next is another classic from which two characters I absolutely love. The classic is Pride and Prejudice and the characters, the female characters that I love from that book are Lizzie and Jane. Again, these two characters are polar opposites of each other. While Lizzie is a firebrand, if someone is being rude to her, she won't shut up and sit down. For example, Darcy. But as pages go by, you will also realize that uh, if she thinks that she has made a mistake, she will try to correct it. She will try to make amends for it, if not being able to correct it. So she is someone that I absolutely love because she is such a well-rounded character. Jane, on the other hand, is a very sweet, very kind, very calm character. And she, in her own way, in a calm way, she knows what to do for herself. She knows uh, to pull back. She is an empathetic character on the whole. So Lizzie and Jane are sisters, but they are two completely opposite characters with a slight overlapping in between. Next is the narrator from Whereabouts by Jhumpa Lahiri and this character, uh, this narrator tells us about life in an unnamed Italian city. I'm assuming it is Rome and uh, she takes us through her everyday life about what she thinks about talking to other people, about being an introvert, about being a book lover and everything that I think. I mean it's impossible to talk about everything that I think but there is such a huge part of me that I found in that book uh, that I found agreeing with the narrator. It's a tricky thing to consider a narrator of such a book as a character and call them one's favorite character, but it is what it is, I guess. I love the dry wit when she sees people being rude to her or she sees people being disrespectful to her. To put one's foot down and say, look, no, you're not being rude to me and you can write off i'm always in awe it i think it's time for a reread although i don't have my book with me my copy with me last but not the least is olivia pullman from wonder olivia is the sister of augie he has a facial deformity and now uh, after having been homeschooled for such a long time he is finally going to school given that his life is so complicated the whole household revolves around him but olivia does not complain she has her complaints as such 
uh, in her own way but she is also very understanding she is at the age where she understands why it is that her uh, parents have to concentrate on augie more she loves her brother more than anything she loves her little brother more than anything in the whole world and she wants to do everything in her power to make it comfortable for them for him and to make it comfortable for uh, their parents as well but she goes through things of her own in her own social life in her with her own friends and to see how she uh, handles it all together how she uh, understands how she deals with her own heartache it is just such a beautiful thing to see among everybody else in the book i loved her the most especially since olivia is such a force of kindness she is so proud of her brother she has some pain in her heart she just wishes sometimes because that does happen it doesn't mean that one wishes something away she just wants a few things which are not too much to ask and i i just want to give her a big hug so those were my favorite female characters of all time what did you think of this video did you like it did you not like it who are your favorite female characters of all time which of these characters did you like which did you not like let me know in the comments below i'd love to hear from you if you like this video please like it and share it to spread the word and if you like my content and would like to see more from me don't forget to hit subscribe and click on the bell icon beside the subscribe button to get notified as and when i post new videos Thanks for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Until next time, keep reading, keep watching and add melodrama to your life.